All right, good evening, everyone. Uh, there was a new solo Blitz milestone drop today, and I totally missed the memo on this. Uh, I checked my in-game mail. I didn't get anything. The recent blog post from Friday didn't mention it. Uh, so I don't know what's going on here, but apparently it's like a 24-hour thing. It is, um, it ha well, for some reason, it has Miss Marvel on it. Um, but the characters you use are Iron Man, War Machine, Captain America, Falcon, Spider-Man, Spider-Man Miles, Thanos, Gamora, Nebula, Nobu, and Elektra. In total, that is 11 characters, each worth 75 points per win in Blitz. And then you get another 25 points in Blitz on top of that. So the easiest way to do this, I've, see, I've figured out, for me at least, is to do two five-man teams of those. And then do one single team of somebody who doesn't fit one of those two five-man teams. So for mine, uh, what I've done is created a couple of pre-made teams here for Blitz. You know, you can go in and edit them and save them right <clears throat> so uh for mine my first one is just my old spider verse team with miles because he's my odd man out and then i have a cosmic whatever hand team <laughs> thanos feeds gamora because i figure she's the most important she, he doesn't really need to feed nebula um nobu and electra just do whatever and then um this sort of Avengers, well, heroes team, right? So Captain America, Spider-Man, Falcon, Iron Man, and War Machine. Um, that's a pretty nice bunch. If you look at the powers for mine, uh, it's 43K to 75K. That's not too much of a variance. Um, but with their synergies and everything, I think that makes the most sense. Um, so these are the three teams that I run. By running them, uh, let's say these two that have five characters for this Blitz milestone thing, uh, they'll give you 400 points per win because they're worth 75 points per character plus 25 points for the win. So that is 400 points total per win. And then with Miles' team, he's worth 75 alone, and then the win with that team is another 25, so that's 100 points. So if I run all three of these teams and win, that cycle is worth a total of 900 points for me. Now if we go back to the milestones and look in order to max these milestones, uh, we have to get 4,500 points total, which if you're getting 900 points per cycle, that's only five total uh, cycles of those teams. And with some blitz charges and stuff, you could definitely hit that with a couple of freebies uh, that you hit throughout the day. Um, I kind of scrambled this evening once I realized this was happening <laughs> and uh, finished off um, my top 10% level for blitz. So for, uh, you know, fl flaming torch guy or whatever, um, you know, it's only an orb blitz, basically. Um, I'm not going for top 1,500. That's going to be like 10 million plus, I would assume. Um, so I'm just doing 1 to 10%, and I figure about 2 million will get me there. So I got up to 1.9 and then just dropped down uh, by losing a whole bunch. And so basically, um, these are the teams that I'm going to run at the 2.0 uh, multiplier. Um and you can see I didn't. When I was running my teams earlier, all the all the timers are off right now because um, I was just getting stuff done as quickly as I could. I wasn't really thinking about uh, what characters I would use for this milestone. Um, but these are my teams, just to show you guys. Um, I think this is fairly simple to do, uh, especially with the uh, blitz charges coming back tomorrow for the challenge on Sunday. And so I'll definitely be doing that um, to help me get through these milestones really quickly um, and then just to take a peek at the rewards I don't think I mentioned this but um, it's nothing spectacular so if you can't finish it don't feel b bad you know it's, it's not a big deal but you get like 10 ABCs the purple ones you get like 15 of these blue ones and then you get a couple of blue orbs and a, well, a few blue orbs and a few purple raid orbs so there's some decent gear um, it's not fantastic stuff it's it's decent um, but it's not a whole lot of work to get it done, so I would just go ahead and do it, because, you know, why not? Um, you're going to be blitzing anyway, you might as well, you know, do these characters. And if you already have these characters in your normal blitz rotation, and you're still, like, working your way up, um, you know, you can always, um, run your normal team cycle, and then 
um, just manually build a couple of these teams with five of those characters and run those as well and use your charges on that. And that'll get you a whole lot of points while still maintaining, you know, some blitz rank and, and continuing to accumulate points towards the, um, you know, the final uh, reward for Human Torch uh, and his blitz. But either way, I, I mean, this is just kind of weird. Like, I had no idea this was coming i think i saw it in the uh data binds a while back but i don't remember seeing anything official about it and i definitely don't remember seeing anything today about it uh in game no no email uh in game for this so anyway i just want to throw that out there uh as a psa to everybody and uh that's pretty much how you do it i'm gonna start doing my cycles uh once the cooldowns run off here in a little bit and uh be done with this probably tomorrow afternoon or something before you know the blitz ends so it does appear that the blitz or this milestone will match up with the end of the blitz though so you do need to finish it before the orb blitzes start and uh you know just get it done before then so uh it kind of sucks because yeah I'd if it was two days long i would much rather be you know spending time on the orb blitz um points instead but uh yeah what are you gonna do so uh, it's at least some bonuses for doing Blitz, which is already a painful enough, so you might as well uh, get something good out of it. So, anyway, that's that's how you do it. Uh, if you got any questions, let me know, but uh, otherwise it's pretty straightforward.